Welcome to City Life. I'm Beverly Thompson. Each spring, mature adults age 50 or better get a chance to show their stuff during the Durham Senior Games and Silver Art Showcase. Joining me to talk about this year's upcoming event are Bridget Robinson and Dreda Guillon. Bridget is the Durham Senior Games Coordinator for Durham Parks and Recreation. Dreda is a past Silver Arts participant. J welcome to you both and thank, thank you. you so much for joining me. Thank, thank, you, thank you for having us. So Bridget, let's get started with you. Um, give us a brief description of the Durham Senior Games and Silver Arts Showcase. I mean, what are the events? Uh, how long has Durham hosted this competition? And when will this year's event take place? Durham Senior Games and Silver Arts Showcase is an Olympic style competition designed to give mature adults an opportunity to compete in athletic and artistic activities. Mm -hmm. um, senior Games is designed for mature adults ages 50 and better, and they have an opportunity to compete in events ranging from cycling to swimming to horseshoes and shuffleboard. Uh -huh. Durham has been doing Senior Games for just under 30 years. Wow, that long? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. The dates for 2016 Senior Games will start on Monday, April 18th, and it will end on Thursday, May 5th. Mm -hmm. So we're giving everybody plenty of notice. Yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> so, Dreda, when did you become involved, and what about the Durham Senior Games actually attracted to you? Uh, I became involved about 15 years ago, actually. Okay. Um, I retired and wanted something that would keep me motivated and energized and active um, and found that the Senior Games had all of those components. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. What was your specialty? What did you do? Well, you know, I dabbled uh -huh. when I first started. I tried uh, a little bit of everything to see just where my interest would be. I tried uh -huh. creative writing, bowling, and found that they were really professional. I, I had to back off huh? of the bowling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I uh, signed up for cheerleading. Oh, okay. And that's been my, my passion uh -huh. for the last uh, 11 years. We've been um, the divas and do cheerleaders, uh -huh. senior cheerleaders. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, Bridget, um, tell us about the typical senior games participant. Is everybody as active and beautiful as <laughs> Trada? <laughs> Absolutely. There is no such thing to me okay. as a typical Senior Games participant. You may get someone that has never participated in a sporting event or ever, um, ever performed on stage mm -hmm. in front of somebody, but they've heard about Senior Games, they are really excited and want to try something new. Uh -huh. Two, you may get someone that absolutely loves the thrill of competing, hmm. so they, they really thrive off of that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. What are the most memorable moments for you in terms of the uh, interest that that you've seen in the past? Well, uh, I think the, the, the diversity of things, but uh. the most creative things that I've seen are the artistic uh, endeavors that come out of these wonderful mature adults, uh, the artwork, the, the recycling things that they've been able to create, mm -hmm. um, the photography, I mean, you just, when you go into one of the exhibits, you really think you're in a professional exhibit wow. because they have so many, so many wonderful creative ideas. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Bridget, do you have to be an extreme athlete to participate in the Senior Games? Absolutely not. I can honestly say that Durham Senior Games has something for everyone, everyone. from somebody just starting out mm -hmm. to the more seasoned mm -hmm. or veteran athlete. So it's something for everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, how many actual events are there that a person could take part in? For the sporting events, there's a total of 18 categories. Mm -hmm. However, out of the 18 categories, there are 58 individual events that someone can register and participate mm -hmm. in. For civil arts, there's five categories, and one of those happens to be performing arts. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That many categories. Why yes, so many categories? I mean, but it's sure to meet everybody's interest it or does. somebody's interest. It does. Huh? Um, a lot of the events, you can do single, double, partners, mixed partners, mixed double. So mm -hmm. a lot of the events have a lot of different combinations that uh -huh. people can register and participate in. Okay. Well, do the participants have to provide their own uniforms or their own equipment? No, they don't. However, for bowling, as Miss Dreda had mentioned earlier, a lot of the bowlers are, they participate on bowling leagues and they come in there with the fancy shoes on, mm -hmm. they got the nice bowling bags with these real fancy bowling balls, so they really take it serious. Uh -huh. And then also for tennis, because they're more avid tennis players, they have their own specially designed tennis rackets uh -huh. that match the clothes. <laughs> like some ladies may come out dressed in pink and the hot pink from top to bottom, oh, wow. including the racket, so it's serious. Oh man, that yes, sounds like so much fun. Very serious. Mm -hmm. Trader, what would you say is 
the greatest enjoyment that you've gotten from your participation in the senior games? I think being the gold champion senior diva cheerleaders for oh, the last, wow. we won go eight out of uh, eight out of eleven times. Wow! And that's, that's statewide. So, so very. yeah, so we are very proud of that record, uh -huh. and uh, that's where my energies have been for the last eleven years, and that's what I take the most uh, passion. So much so that I've had surgeries throughout that time: uh -huh. back surgery, knee replacement, rotator cuff, and my my goal has always been to be able to get back in time for the senior games. <laughs> you know, I tell my surgeon, okay, let's, let's get this just right now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That <laughs> so that's, so that's been my biggest, my biggest interest and my biggest thrust, that's, I guess. That yeah. is wonderful. <laughs> Something, it kind of motivates you to mm -hmm. just keep um, active, I guess. Well, you know, mm -hmm. the aging process to me is very interesting. My grandfather lived to be 102. Wow. And then there are other people in my family who at 50 are walking with canes, you know. And I've always uh, wondered about just what it is that makes an active senior mm -hmm. and uh, was determined that I was going to be an active senior and not one that's going to sit in a rocking chair w once I retire. I hear you. So that, that's sort of key. And, and my mother always said, you just have to be involved in everything, uh -huh. don't you? So <laughs> I guess it started a long time ago. Uh -huh. I've, I've always been very active. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Our viewers are just hyped now. I mean, <laughs> after you guys, uh, you know, hearing what you had to say, uh, there's a, a great motivation there to be involved. What are some important dates that they need to make note of so that they can be sure to get in on all the fun? Okay, absolutely. Opening ceremony for Durham Senior Games and Civil Arts will be Monday, April 18th at Lion Park Recreation Center. Mm -hmm. Also, the closing ceremony will be Thursday, May 5th at the Durham Center for Senior Life. Mm -hmm. The actual event dates start on Monday, April 18th and they end on Thursday, May 5th. Okay, all right. Now, if our viewers have questions or just want more information, what do they need to do? Contact Bridget Robinson or Michael Honeycutt. We can be reached at 919-560-4355 or you can go on the website to www.dprplaymore.org. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Mm -hmm. And I, I do just have one more question though. Mm -hmm. If you have some advice or any other information that you'd like to leave for our viewers, what would it be? I would like to use a slogan that's on the back of the Senior Games t-shirts. Uh -huh. You don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Mm. Mm -hmm. And Jack? And I would say, uh, and as an ambassador for Senior Games, that there is something for everyone uh, and that uh, just come on out and try it. Even if you just come and participate as a, a, a one of the, uh, not a participant, but as an active watcher, mm -hmm. uh -huh. just come on out. Because there's a fellowship and there's fun. Um, and it's something that keeps you young at heart. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great. Couldn't yeah. have said it better myself. That's <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank You're welcome. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that does it for City Life. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and watch us on Durham Television Network and on YouTube. Plus, stay where you are to get a sneak peek at what's to come in the next edition of Durham Magazine. I'm Beverly Thompson. Thank you for joining me to learn more about City Life in Durham. everyone! Don't miss Durham Magazine's 2016 Visitors and Relocation Guide. This publication, with a year-long shelf life, is for people new to the Bull City scene, whether they plan to stay for a weekend or forever. I highly recommend you keep it in your guest room for out-of-towners to peruse. Mail it to a friend who's thinking of moving here, or use it as your company's human resources recruitment tool. Inside, you'll find all the reasons why we love Durham, and the ultimate Durham checklist of fun things to do plus useful guides to the city's neighborhoods, business resources, annual events, restaurants, arts venues, and more. Call our office to get your copy, 919-933-1551. You can also read our 2016 Visitors and Relocation Guide online at durhammag.com. Thanks for reading, happy 2016.